what we got here is a hog or a BG677 that uh, the situation going on with it is you turn the machine on uh, you get uh, it runs for a couple of minutes and then you get the green light when you first turn it on then it switches to red then it shuts off now uh, we're going to try to diagnose for a for a bad battery we're going to see what's going on with it so first thing we're going to do is take our multimeter we're going to set it for DC voltage and you want to check the voltage on the battery so just take your Take your red lead, put it on the red terminal. Take your black lead, put it on the ground on the blue terminal. And if you look at the voltage, it's saying 12.89 volts, which is showing that the battery's fully charged. So, okay, we're gonna turn this thing on and see what it's gonna do. So, switch it to on. We've got a green light. Notice the machine seems to be running slowly even though it's got a fully charged battery. Now we've got a red light. Wait a couple more minutes, this one's probably going to shut off. Okay, now the machine is shut off. Your circuit board inside your unit is seeing the amperage drop on your battery. It's fooling the circuit board into thinking the battery is dead, so it's shutting it off to keep from completely draining the battery. Now you've got a red flashing light, so it's telling you if the battery's completely dead. Okay, we're gonna shut the unit off. Now we're gonna take our charger, we plug our charger in. We have a green LED that's telling us that the charger is ready to go, it's ready to, ready to be plugged into the unit. Okay, now we're gonna take our charging plug and put it in the charging port. Now we look at our charger. Now it's telling us that the battery is fully charged. Okay. Now let's check our voltage on our battery one more time. Our battery is telling us that we still have 12.7, 12.8 volts. So now we're going to check for a dead cell in the battery. Now your charger for your for your BG or Haga unit has a uh, circuit board built into it. What it'll do is send a test signal to the battery to check the, the health of the battery before it begins the charging process. If the, if the charger gets a bad signal back from the battery, what it'll do, it won't allow the charger to charge the battery because if it has a dead cell, the battery's gonna overheat and probably uh, catch fire. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna plug our charger back into the unit. Then we're gonna turn the unit on. See, we have an amber light, and that says that the unit is charging. What we've done, we pulled the charger into thinking it's got a good battery. So as soon as we turn the unit off, the amber light will switch back to green in just a minute. So that now we've diagnosed a uh, a dead cell in the battery. Now I'm going to swap the battery out. Put a good battery into the unit. Reconnect your terminals. 